Good morning, everyone. This is Biz Chicks TV. This is the place where you can find tips and tools to help you do business better. We're here to help you run a profitable business that's fun to run and to take the hassle out of your hustle. And today is Monday. I'm here with my friend and partner, Miss Francine Gregory, real estate entrepreneur and tech diva. I'm Terralina from California Cover Ups, and we are the Biz Chicks. We're talking this morning about joy, the things that bring you joy. So um, we want you to sit back, relax, get the beverage that brings you joy. Let's hydrate. I'm doing um, mango orange juice today. Ooh. and I know. <laughs> and water. I hope you are indulging in your favorite coffee, tea, whatever it is. And let's have a conversation about the joy. The joy of it all. It is the season for joy, right, Francis? Sure <laughs> um, and we were talking about it this morning that even though things may not be like they used to be or whatever, we can mm. choose joy. We can choose to see the joy in it all. Like you said, the silver lining. Yes. We see what is going on. We can see, okay. I'm stuck at home with a bunch of people that I haven't talked to in years. So maybe this is the time. Um, this is the time that I get to get to know them better. Mm -hmm. Asking them questions. And I'm going to have to change up my routine and my little schedule a little bit, but that's okay. I get to learn more about the people who are in my life right now. Mm -hmm. uh, and I get to maybe perhaps rest because, uh, good morning, Cecilia and Maureen. I get to rest. This is a forced vacation, people. Forced vacation. You don't have to be somewhere unless you're in the essential areas. Well, then you, yes, you have to be someplace. But for a lot of people, if you're not an essential worker, you get to choose to stay home and enjoy it. It makes mm -hmm. it cool. And Terry's going to tell us about some ways that we can express joy and some ways that we can, uh, how joy may be expressed. But we get an opportunity to rest. Oh, my gosh. How many of us have said we need a vacation? How many of us have never taken a vacation over the years of all that work? Seriously, you know, Americans leave more vacation time on the books than any other country. Millions of dollars of vacation time just let go because they didn't take it during that year and it doesn't roll over. And just and that's not you, you're burning up that money and take the time off, even if it. And I think maybe that's why a lot of people didn't take time off because they didn't know what to do if they were at home with nothing to do with not going to take a walk go outside enjoy the sunshine i mean really <laughs> can we just breathe go outside just breathe in the air hey just enjoy but, the fact that we're here but if that was hard for people to do mm. it's sometimes it's difficult to uh wind down to put it on pause, to turn off the phone. Uh, turning off the phone, um, I think that's a practice of joy. Mm -hmm. you can turn off that phone every so often. Just, I'm talking about turn it off. Where you're not, uh, where it's not ringing and pinging and, and where you have to be tied to it 24-7. Mm -hmm. um, or tied to something else. And, you know, they were talking about this, finding joy with those who are around you. Yes. It's gonna be new. It's a new, okay, kids. So what have you been doing? You know, how have things that maybe you get an opportunity to listen to them for the first time in a while? You, you know, yesterday, the kids sat down and their mom, sat down and they just painted ornaments for the tree back here. You know, things that they wouldn't normally do. 
you know, usually they go out and buy the ornaments. So this year we got some things from the hobby store and they are actually making ornaments and they did it together. It was so simple because the age ranges for those children are um, one to 13. <laughs> that's a, that's a, a big range. So finding activities that the family can do together. Right. Read, and we talked about this before. There's books that you've been meaning to read. Um, maybe there's movies that you wanted to watch. Um, there is no end to visual stimulation with, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. with Netflix and um, Hulu and whatever. So there's plenty to watch. There's recipes that you can try. You know, you've always wanted to dabble in the kitchen. Wow. And then, you know, there's a new channel coming called Dabble. Oh. And they're going to be hobbyists and they're going to be master classes like people, chefs and things. Yeah. So and you know, have you know, the right to Dabble. Dabble. Mm -hmm. uh, Cecilia says, finding joy in any negative situation, looking at your glass half full now, not half empty. I agree, Cecilia. It, it takes something, some doing to find the good in, in the oh, stuff. Sometimes we have to work at being joyful. <laughs> no, I think what we mean by work is be mindful so that we go there. You know what I'm saying? To that happy place. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you several things. We can discuss those. And then if you want, I'll give you more. Mm -hmm. It says some of the things that can bring you joy. Send a snail mail to a friend. Actually, sit down and write a letter. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah, a letter. I got a handwritten yeah. letter. Gotten one or sent one. Watch the sunrise. Mm, most of us are up anyway because we're early risers. Those of us who are, we can actually watch the sunrise. If you're not an early riser, maybe you need to watch the sunset. But <laughs> you know what I mean? I sunset. Mm -hmm. Go to the theater. Now, this is something that we say we can't do because we're on lockdown. No, you can go to the theater right on your TV. There are a lot of theaters. A lot of stuff going on on YouTube, right? Yeah, they're putting their, their performances on YouTube so that you can you can go see Avita or you can go see Madame Butterfly or the Phantom of the Opera or the Nutcracker or whatever because they are online now on YouTube because they realize that people still want to come to these events. Yeah but they can't get there, but a lot of them are putting them online. And the performers need an outlet so they can keep practicing. They have a reason to, you know, stay limber and keep practicing it, be ready for when things change. And they are going to change, people. Mm -hmm. uh, volunteer. <gasps> mm. I met a lady yesterday, and she liked helping um, seniors who couldn't get out. Mm -hmm. So she would she would, uh, when when they were able to visit, she would go and see them and just hang out with them, take them shopping, take them to get some something to eat so that they still had a quality of life that they were accustomed to. And mm -hmm. now that she can't take them out, she calls them and has conversations with them and lets them talk mm -hmm. about just whatever they want to talk about. There you go. That It's still a visit, right? It's a visit. It's just by phone. Exactly. And if, um, if there's a way, I, would, I wish the, the uh, centers would have a way. Now, that I think would be a good idea. I've just crossed over in my mind. Mm -hmm. That would be a good thing for the Facebook portal where the, the uh, care facility makes it available, maybe little portal stations in different parts of the thing where people can come in and then connect with their family. That would make sense and because because the, um, what would you call it? The care providers can, can help them negotiate, navigate, you know, anything they don't understand. Right. And they can set appointments with the family. The family would love to have an appointment to come into the portal and, you know what I mean? Yeah, okay. Today we're going to have Millie's family. Millie, you're up, you know, and if Millie, mm -hmm. uh, I would think, 
making that a part of the, you know, the fees that they pay every month or whatever, let's just get a portal so the people can connect with their family. Now there's no excuse. And, you know, if your, your, your family is uh, 3000 miles away, they can still connect with you. And it brings joy to the people there. They're not forgotten. Exactly. And they can see what's going on. Right. That way we can cope, come to the baby's birthday party, whatever's going on, because children are being born right now. And I'm sure that they don't want to miss out on that joy. So then the other thing you can do is you can exercise. You can power down your gadgets. Isn't that what you said, Francie? Let's go back to that exercise. Mm -hmm. Exercise. Okay, come on. We can, you can do, you, you now, before we're getting up, dressing, grab a coffee, running out the door. Mm -hmm. You can stop and now put in a little movement. You can do some stretches like toe touches. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. You are stretching and it doesn't have to be P90X where you can't get up off the floor when you're done, but it could be going for a walk. Yes, they said we can go for a walk. Mm -hmm. outside in the breeze you are maybe wearing a mask or whatever but you're outside in the fresh air and going for a walk you're noticing the, the trees and flowers mm -hmm. and different things that brings you joy it brings peace of mind to you yes now claudia says um in regard to the portal frenzy do you see her yeah. If they can do it in the hospital, the long-term care facilities have no excuse. Thank you, Claudia. Mm -hmm. We actually had to almost beg the caretaker to let us FaceTime. He had an iPhone to let us FaceTime with our loved one in the facility. My daughter had come all the way across the country, found out she couldn't go to see them. This is when this first started. And so... I mean, it was just a challenge. And we have so much technology available to us. So yes, um, but regarding exercise, Francine, it says a shot of endorsements to the brain will make you feel so good. And one of the best ways of getting that boost is with exercise. Right. So pick your poison, running, soccer, ice skating, <laughs> whatever it is, a long walk in the woods, uh, get moving and get instant satisfaction. And Maureen can help you with some ideas mm -hmm. Those on hikes. And uh, I'm, I'm telling you, even the gyms are outside now. Yes. They are outside with social distancing and all that. I have a gym in my house. So I'm just going to get on the bike over there and stay in the warm. And I'm going for a walk. Yes. I will go for a walk outside. Mm -hmm. um, I'm waiting for it to warm up. I, I used to walk early in the morning. But it's been kind of windy. So now I walk in the middle of the day. Right. But we get out and do some movement, just move some kind of something. And like Terry said, the endorphins that come from that, when you finish a workout and you're like, whoo, there is, you feel so much better. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, then it, uh, go shopping. You know, okay. Some of us really get, get, a joy out of shopping and right now you can shop right here right on your phone i know and the reason why i said it is because we're in california i don't know about the rest of the country but we recently have had some additional restrictions so you know if you can't get out the way you want to get out then use your phone then you can shop and okay so here's the thing I don't have enough money to shop. You can window shop. We remember we used to do that in the Christmas time. You just go by and look at stuff in the window mm -hmm. and just, just peruse. Just, you got out, went to the mall and you just looked at the stuff that was in the window. You don't have to actually buy it. Well, here's the other thing. A lot of us have subscriptions to online magazines that we have not looked at in months. Just flip through the pages. They got all kinds of suggestions, I'm sure, for the holidays because they didn't know this was going to be this. And then you can actually um, flip through. I remember flipping through the catalogs and flipping through magazines and just looking at them. And that was a time where you had time to do it. You understand mm -hmm. what I mean? Looking through a magazine, this that's luxury for me right now. 
because I'm doing stuff. And if I could just take a break and just flip through a magazine nonchalantly, not trying you know to. I mean? No timetable, just enjoying it. Maureen said we can move anywhere. Yes. You can be indoor, outdoor, but you can move. Okay. And so um, just, just going, to, like Terry said, you can shop, window shop, shop, shop. Mm -hmm online shop, whatever, yep. you can do it all. It says, uh, try something new, you know, learn something. There are like, you were talking about the master classes online. There are classes for everything. Mm -hmm. Learn how to create a- there are classes on how to relax. <laughs> can we just- <laughs> And Jerry said, yes, cutting out the picture of what you wish for. And then catalog. <laughs> yeah, putting it in a little book and and okay, this is my dream, and that's your 2020, what you're believing for for 2020, cutting the pictures out and put them in a book. Or you can cut them out now and cut them out, or you can make a digital lookbook. Or do a screenshot and and put them, you know, take all the little screenshots and, and make a little collage. Mm-hmm. Nice. That makes sense. Carlos said he took a, a class on how to breathe. Who knew? Yeah. Right, Carlos, it, you're absolutely right. Um, Jill does that. Yeah, Jill does right. those kinds of classes. And it, it is a class. And I was like, oh, and you feel better too. You're like, mm -hmm. oh, a lot of us hold our breath instead of breathing. Mm -hmm. um, I have to remind myself to breathe. Because when you get all tensed up, you tend not to breathe. Well, here are two more. Spend time with your favorite canine um, and practice forgiveness. So if you have a pet, an animal that brings, they, they are just so loving. <laughs> Enjoy time. The cat is happy to see you. Dog, goldfish, turtle, bird, whatever it is. Enjoy time with your pets. And then uh, it says practice forgiveness. Stop holding all that stuff in from 2020, girl. Let it go. No matter how grave the offense, we let go of the hurt and anger that person stirs inside um, in us, uh, thereby creating more space for happier emotions. On our journey to collect joy from our everyday surroundings, we must also dispose of any residual negativity. Saying I forgive you is a good start. So, you know... And, and, and with the forgiveness, it's a decision. Mm -hmm. It's not a feeling. A lot of times people think decision um, that forgiveness is a feeling. Well, I don't feel like forgiving. It's not mm -hmm. a feeling. It's a decision. You decide to forgive somebody. It's like, okay, they were being really stupid. I will forgive them. And you move on. Because if you hold on to that, you, you, all the resentment and all this stuff is all broiling around in your mind. And then you, it, you, it's hard to keep joy when you got all of that going on. All that wonderfulness uh, distracting you. Then it says, create something artistic and keep a journal, write your way to happiness. Mm -hmm. So be cre being creative evidently sets off some really positive endorsements. It says here, painting, sculpting, jewelry making, music writing are all examples of activities we engage in to work our creative muscle, thereby inviting into our life more joy. Have you ever just doodled? Just, mm -hmm. you know, just took a piece of paper and just da da da, and not not trying to make it perfect or anything, but you're just drawing, and it does do something for you. <laughs> I'm sorry, we got a comment over here from Carla. You know, comedy from Mark. Uh, <laughs> you know, Mark left off. Carla says that you can call all your exes and complain just for entertainment. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, Carlos. Yes, all my exes live in Texas. That's why I hang my hat in Tennessee. <laughs> but we love them. Bless them, and may they be a blessing to their children. Okay. Um, get a house plant. Oh my gosh. Now, for me, I know for some of y'all, this is not a big deal. But if I get a house plant and it survives, that's going to give me joy. <laughs> 
But now you have time to learn how to make it survive. Okay. Because, you know, Kevin tells me you just leave the plants alone. And it's because you know, time to take care of them. You know what I mean? Yes. Jesus, I need something that's okay if I walk away from it. I tell you, my biggest uh, accomplishment is I have a huge aloe vera plant growing by my front door because I never have to do anything to it. It just, no matter what happens, it just lives through everything, girl. It lives through the drought. I might need to get one of those because I had a cactus. Girl. And I don't know. I, you know, they said put this amount of water on it every so often. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> and are supposed to be easy to take care of. See, we're going to have a competition. I killed the bamboo. A bamboo supposed to be able to survive anything. How do you kill bamboo? Because yeah, I'm trying to get rid of it in my backyard. And oh my gosh, well you can bring some of it over here. Maybe I can. Maybe it'll just survive. Because yeah. I, for some reason, I was successful at uh, annihilating the bamboo. Let's see here. <laughs> you can do it, Maureen. Says. <laughs> Thank you, Maureen. He says, um, here's one, give thanks and breathe deeply, meditate, I'm going down the list, dance, this is Karen's thing, just dance, uh, dance on a regular basis can improve your mood and boost your overall mental health. Okay. Yeah, and it doesn't mean you had to go to, what was his name? Um, Arthur, something. Arthur Dance, do you just need mm -hmm. to turn off the music and just go? Mm -hmm. Right now, I'm gonna have everybody turn on to act like you got some music on and just just move, dance to the rhythm in your mind, you know, just like hey, just celebrate and, good times. Come on, <laughs> Carlos said, Wow, kill bamboo. I killed my chia pet. Maybe. <laughs> You win. Okay. <laughs> May you rest in peace. <laughs> um, and um, <laughs> Julia says, stop complaining. It's exhausting and it brings in more negative feeling. Talk positive things. Watch funny movies. Yes. Oh, I like that. Watch funny movies. And there are a lot of them. There are holiday movies out. I like the Nutcracker, all variations of it. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm looking forward to finding out if I can watch the hot chocolate nutcracker um, with Debbie Allen. But I want to, I, I, I do the nutcracker. I do uh, <laughs> It's a Wonderful Life. I'm sorry, Carlos is just acting up today. Carlos, I, <laughs> I don't even have a poll. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That'd be the only way I could be successful if I didn't have a poll because I can't. I, I can't even imagine. And it says, do some spring cleaning. Mm -hmm. Take a thirty-minute walk. Go outside. Join a team. You know, we can still join a team online. Mm -hmm. You're on. Right. We have a team here. We got Brian, right. and Carlos, and Cecilia, Maureen, and Jerry, uh, <laughs> and and um, Claudia. Claudia. Yeah, mm -hmm. have a team. We have a team. It says do a good deed. Do an act of kindness. Get a good night's rest. Uh, make a gigantic to-do list. Do some spring cleaning. Stop and smell the roses. This is my favorite phrase. Can we just stop and just enjoy, enjoy the moment? Put 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 some do some aromatherapy, light a candle, do something. And just chill out, <laughs> read a novel. Oh, this this number 30, light a candle. Hmm. Go to the museum. You know, you can go to the museum online now because most of them have been closed. So they offer a virtual tour yep. of the museum. But do um, you, you see how this thing has forced everybody to get out of their regular way of doing it. So now more people can enjoy a trip through the Carker Art Museum because mm -hmm. it's online now. They have more uh, participants that may want to be donors.
because mm -hmm. they put it online before you had to try and figure out how you was going to park and how you were going to do all this stuff. Get in the car, drive down there. Parking around that place is not that easy or wherever you are. You can go to the Met. You can go to the your local. Smithsonian. Yeah, I mean, that that's a trip to D.C. From, from the West Coast. So, yeah, you can go to all of these fabulous museums mm -hmm. right from the comfort of your home. Stream it to your TV. You can see even better. Right. <laughs> so um, all of that's sing your heart out. Laugh. I'm good at that. <laughs> now, laughing is good. You got to find some really, really funny. Which, what are your funny, um, what makes you laugh? For me, Three Stooges. Oh. <laughs> Order, disorder in the court. Three Stooges. The disorder in the court is so funny <laughs> and hoy polloi, but I like the three stooges. I was like, okay, this is funny. I tried. I'm not a three stooges girl, but I really enjoy Mark and Carlos's sense of humor. Right. Cause here we got comedians right here. Carlos said, I decided to fix the car, but my neighbor didn't appreciate it. Guess the car wasn't broken. <laughs> Well, it was a random act of kindness. You had a good intent. <laughs> oh, Britta's in here. How you doing, Britta? My, yeah, my Norwoods party is still going on. I'll put the link in there for the folks who still want to order. And you could, Britta, put the link in there. This morning. <laughs> yes. And you know, laughter is a merry medicine. Mm -hmm. It says, organize your bedroom. Rid your world of clutter, breathe a sigh of relief. A tidy living space boosts happiness, promotes productivity, and enhances peace of mind. I guess it does. Minutes is all it takes. 20 mm -hmm. minutes, set the timer, and just do something. You know, maybe clean off your desk mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. or clean out a drawer. But just 20 minutes. Of, here's a couple of keys. You got to have a place for everything to go. Mm hmm before you start moving stuff, because stuff will just move to a new location. So you don't know where the stuff goes. Like if you have a drawer for batteries, they need to go in the battery drawer. And 20 minutes, just 20 minutes to do go backs, like at a store. Mm -hmm. I used to work at a store. And then, you know, all of the go backs that were at the, the checkout counter, they had to go back to the shelf where they belong. Wow. And so if you would put a box, and I think Brenna talked about this before, where you have a box or a basket or something in the room and you're putting all the stuff that goes back to wherever it belongs, you put it in that go back box and then you take everything and take it back to its home. I have to practice this. Hey, Dr. Tachi, good morning. So, um, so we, it is, you can declutter. And you don't need to spend your entire day doing it. Just 20 minutes today, 20 minutes tomorrow. What else you got, Terry? Terry, Terry. Hold on. Um, my brother says she's doing donations today. Is oh. that weird? Uh, because she also, now, Brenna talked to us about having a, like, you know, when you got clothes that you don't wear anymore? having a bin for those clothes, either in the hallway, the garage, or maybe in the room. And so you're folding those things up. When they come from the laundry, they go right in that bin and then they go straight to Goodwill or wherever you mm -hmm. move the nation. Instead of clothes that you don't wear, fold it up someplace and they get higher and higher and higher because they didn't have a home. That makes sense. It says here, smile. Take a yoga class. Mm -hmm. Round yourself with the color blue. Just mm -hmm. being in the presence of the color of water and sky can boost confidence. I didn't know this. Reduce stress and bolster happiness. Oh. So that's why I like looking at the ocean. Mm -hmm. Soak up the sun. Mm -hmm. Yawn. Huh. Do it not once, but three, four times, five times in a row. Force out a few big, long ones even if you're feeling fully energized and alert. Um, yawning can improve your memory and lower stress. Neoscientists say this. Think of it as wiping away the clutter in your brain and giving yourself a clean slate. Really? Mm. Yawning. Mm. 
take a power nap. Now, I like that. Eat breakfast. Reflect on your accomplishments. Celebrate your daily victories, no matter how small. Okay? <laughs> take pride in your appearance. Um, let your imagination go wild. Stop right there, because I was just going to say that. Well, let your imagination go wild. Dream. Just, just daydream. Just like, hmm. What would it be like to do this? And we have time, so just take mm -hmm. time to daydream. Imagine sitting on that beach with the warm sand in your toes and then the, 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 the slosh of the ocean and the, the occasional seagull coming. Mm -hmm. And it's just warm and you're just sitting there. You got your book in your lap. You maybe fell asleep. And so now you're into a power nap. But we're at the beach or wherever you want to be. It could be in the mountains. Mm -hmm. Some people like being up in the hills with nature and, and you're up on the mountaintop and you're overlooking things and the eagles are flying by. But you can imagine, if you can't get there, you can imagine it. Mm -hmm. And it brings joy and it brings peace. Try to, oh, wait, I, I was going to get... Uh, Okay, so during the holidays, they have a virtual fire. Well, they also have virtual ocean, and I must say it's very calming. Oh, like the fireplace that you can put up on your TV? Right. Mm -hmm. virtual. You can have a Yule log, and you can exactly have some, sit back and have some hot cocoa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do your Christmas thing. And Carlos said, I tried the yawning thing. My friends got insulted and left. They kept saying, sorry, didn't mean to bore you that much. Yawn for like an hour, but I bet you feel good. <laughs> it's only four or five times in a row, and I'm sure they didn't want you to do it in front of company. Okay, it says sit up straight. Mm. Mm, good posture will keep you energized and <clears throat> create more room in your diaphragm for deeper breathing. It can also make you feel better. People with good posture give off an air of ease and confidence that actually bolsters their own self-perception. I guess so. That's what I was <laughs> yeah, Carlos says here, Carlos is keeping us on our toes today. I like to create a hurricane in my bedroom with storm sounds and turning the fan full speed and the sprinkler just to relax, but spent the rest of the day mopping my bed. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way to get the walls clean. <clears throat> I but like to... I like the uh, the the storm um, the storm sounds are really relaxing for me. The mm -hmm. one like, it's like thunderstorm or whatever, mm -hmm. and I I like that. But I'm not turning on the sprinklers. Carl. Exactly. Now, Brenda says like the virtual fireplace mm -hmm. and the window on YouTube. Hmm. I have to go over there and check that out. Especially if you want a white Christmas and yeah. And you live in California. No. <laughs> well, some parts of California are white Christmas. And others, if you're down in so SoCal, not happening. Okay, it says um practice positive affirmations. I can, I eat healthy and exercise regularly, I'm successful. You know, talk to jet self-talk. We talk about it often here on Biz Chicks is really, really important. Okay. Uh, give back to your community helps fend off depression. I know one guy who um, he refurbishes bicycles mm. and then he gives them away to the kids in the neighborhood at Christmas time because he had a neighbor who was collecting the bicycles and he was going to junk them for the metal. And so he instead he bought the bicycles and he, you know, and so just the expression on his face on the news, you could tell that he was excited and looking forward to connecting these bikes with kids who had a desire to have a bicycle and really couldn't afford it. Be an optimist, touch your toes, give more hugs, work with your hands, do something, you know, cook dinner, knit a scarf, uh, do something that, you know, Cooking. Mm -hmm. Audience says the idea is to learn a new recipe during this time. However, this can also be an excellent time to uh, body detox. Oh, wow! 
Because a lot of people were thinking, I've gained so much weight doing a da-da-da-da-da. But it doesn't have to be that. You don't have to be eating during this time just because. And, and you know what else, friend? <clears throat> Remember now, this isn't going to be over. we got another quarter probably before, you know, things really begin to loosen up in terms of people being able to navigate the planet the way we used to. you got three months to detox your body. Mm -hmm. And get feeling good, and and um, mm -hmm. the the challenge has been people have been resisting this change, mm -hmm. fighting again. Oh, I don't want to do that. Okay, well we're in the middle of it. We got how many weeks left? <laughs> Three weeks left till twenty twenty one. And they were going. They already told us we're going into twenty twenty one with the same situation. Mm -hmm. So I can resist or I can enjoy the journey. Heck, I might keep my Christmas tree up till we're finished. <laughs> Christmas brings me joy. So what in history, when you look back on this time, what mm -hmm. would uh, it look like? Did you choose joy during this time? Mm -hmm. Carlos said, I mastered the art of getting fat. I have the black belt, but it doesn't fit. <laughs> oh, these guys have good jokes. I don't, it says, uh, don't worry about what others think of you. Shower yourself with self-love. Mm -hmm. Live in the moment. Be on time for events. You know, we got so many Zoom calls. Girl, please. Stop saying I'm sorry. Avoid it. The, uh, those of us who avoid apologies are happier than those who own up to their own blunders. Refusing to apologize actually gives you a sense of power to tell an entitlement. Research but, those. And I, I tend to agree that you're not, you don't need to be sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No. <clears throat> if there's something that you blundered on, I apologize. Let, I'll work on that or whatever. But you're not sorry. Sorry is a state that we don't really need. <laughs> okay, hug yourself, drink more water. How about everybody hug themselves? And it's like, I can do that. Nobody got nobody to hug. Hug yourself, like, mm. and then drink some water. Mm. Take a warm bath, <clears throat> listen to running water, mm. sigh. Eat more fruits and vegetables. Daydream. Mm -hmm. Listen to music. Music is scientifically proven to ease pain, reduce stress, elevate mood, and uh, a, a periphery of other things. And it's great for our physical and emotional betterment. So Listen I'm going to tell you, pick a playlist. Mm -hmm. Do that this time. Create your playlist of your favorite jams, whatever they may be. <laughs> Carla, now the, the jokes are flowing over here on Claudia. I know. <laughs> so Claudia and Carlos is calling the stuff over here, people. They are on fire today. <laughs> Create a playlist for that. Go get your favorite jams. Okay, if you got Spotify, Apple Music, uh, Pandora, whatever, you can create stations mm -hmm. that help you uh, with your favorite music. There you go. Uh, Claudia says she said water people, not vodka. <laughs> okay. said the last time I hugged myself, I got kicked out of the airport. <laughs> All right, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Maureen thinks the information is awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Maureen. Okay, here says here we can uh, appreciate a work of art, mm. let go of anger. Spend time with friends and family. Um, don't let credit card bills hang over your head. Don't worry about coming in first. Own, earn your indulgences. It says we appreciate rewards more when we've earned them. So next time you treat yourself to an ice cream cone, make yourself work for it. For example, tell yourself, I can indulge in ice cream only if I first have eaten three balanced, healthy meals. And hold yourself to it. 
take risks. It feels good to live on the edge. That's why skydiving, surfing are so popular. You can reap rewards from this life in the fast lane sensation, but taking small risks in ordinary activities. Okay. Okay. So I'm telling you to jump out of plane, right? Yeah. Okay. Experience a little risk will increase your enjoyment of whatever activity you're engaged in. Okay. For instance, if you're a surfer, try to try to surf a, a little larger uh, wave. If you are a skater, try a small trick before you go off a ramp. Okay. <laughs> Just try standing up if you're like me on inline skates. And, hmm. Don't overindulge. Mm -hmm. Pop in for a, for a, a sappy movie, you know, a chick flick or, you know, something that makes you, brings you joy around the holidays. We all have our favorite holiday movie, don't we? Um, be spontaneous. Take a hot shower. Cry. Go ahead. Let, let some of it out. You know, we've been cooped up a while. You may need just to, to just rinse yourself out with a good cry and then go on and put it behind you. Yeah, Coach Karen talks about that. She'll, she'll say, I give myself, uh, was it 24 hours to cry it out, mm. mad about it or whatever, and then, okay, that's it. You, okay. So Eat more steak. Research shows that people who consume less than a recommended amount of red wheat meat in their diets are twice as likely to feel depressed. Oh, that's what it is. Let me order. <laughs> no, I don't know about that one. I love steak. <laughs> uh, says, uh, we don't take our tree down until January, but in Mexico, it's February when the person makes the tamales from the plastic baby they bit into on January 6th from the Rosca de Reyes King's crown. This is the official end. Oh, when the person bites into the little plastic baby that's in the thing. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so they find it. Okay. Yeah. And when they like um, in the plum pudding type of thing. Right. So hmm. when they find it in the tamale and they bite on it, then that's when the Christmas tree comes down. Okay. Cool. Um, and Car uh, Claudia says, do all those things you didn't pre previously have time to do, select a good podcast to include in your day. Yes, ma'am. I did that today. I was listening to a podcast. I was like, oh, well, there's I, I can do. Yep. I've got some favorites that I, when I wake up, they're on the playlist. Um, make the bed. I start your power. Did she say make a bed? Make the bed. Making the bed in the morning is one of the quickest ways to um, infuse our lives with a sense of calm and order. It also is a sense of the first thing you do in the day you've accomplished. Right. When our lives are tidy and organized, we feel happier. Clutter in general tends to distract from our inner sense of joy. Let me tell you something. I bought all these games for the family. Okay. For Christmas, right? So, because I knew we were going to be indoors. Girl, I forgot. Them. I bought them so long ago, I forgot about them. And I went looking for the Christmas bulbs. And here are all these bags of games that need to be wrapped for Christmas. Clutter, girl. I had forgot where I put them. I hid them for myself. <laughs> and your house ain't that big. They were outside in the breezeway. I was just like, okay. Oh, so you had gifts for everybody, but they just didn't get them. <laughs> they weren't going to get them because I had forgot about them. I'd have probably been looking inside this house all during the holidays for those gifts, because for those games, because I knew I had bought them. So now I brought them inside. I'm going to wrap them, put them under the tree just to make sure they get them. <laughs> Okay. So uh, rid of some of the clutter. <laughs> okay, so Brenna says we're going to have some bread with fig and sweet breads, a uh, sweets bread, uh, Rosca de Reyes. Okay. Um, and Dr. Tachi said, this is so interesting. <laughs> Spend time with happy people. Uh -oh. <laughs> really? Yes, it says happiness is truly contagious. Studies show that when you are around your, when you surround yourself with happy people, you become happier by association. Mm, like so. joy by association, happiness by association, joy by association. 
Thanks. Celia says, you're my kind of girl. Forget where I put things to. <laughs> yes, because I shopped so early. It was like, and of course, I didn't want the kids to find them. So anyway, write a list of every single amazing thing you've seen and done. Now that right there is good. It's like an essay. What did you do this summer? Oh, what did you do in 2020? And write an essay. Um, this is everything you've seen and done. I listed this every single amazing thing you've seen and done. Yeah, that would be excellent to go back and and um, write even for your uh, archive for your family. Mm -hmm. amazing. Tell your story so that you can pass it on to your kids. You have time to write it down. I want I want to tell them the story of how I went through the snow to get to da da da. da. And you can pass that on if yep. you have time to do that now. Yep, I want to tell the story of how I lost my glasses for the fifth time and my mother almost lost it. <laughs> and I mean, because these are stories that, you know, we, we don't know about our family members and whatever, we have time to tell those stories. And not in an angry way, you know. You just like your uncle Willie, who did it, but you can tell the stories so that they understand their background. And you can tell the stories of the positive legacy mm -hmm. that people have left for them. Like they have no idea that my mother testified before Congress, and she's in the congressional record, and da da. da. So their great grandmother. <laughs> testify before Congress. So, you know, these are things that, yeah, should go in the story. Okay. And um, uh, Cecilia says, true that 8 a.m. with the biz chicks, I start to laugh. <laughs> I'm so glad. Okay. It says, give more compliments. Mm. Write down your aspirations. Grow your own vegetables. Well, you know, that's how for you and I. But anyway, we can get them from Claudia. <laughs> I, I know that Maureen grows vegetables. And uh, Claudia, you, you got a garden that we can come over there and get some? <laughs> really? <laughs> uh, we already confessed about you know, our wonderfulness with gardens. Drink more tea. Stop drinking soda. Eat more um, legumes, meaning beans, peanuts, peas, etc. It pumps energy into your body and stop procrastinating. Oh, just do it. Just just get up and go do it. Live a Nike life. Just, <laughs> just do it. Go do it. Do it. So um, I don't know if you heard me, um, Brenda, but if you could put the link for the Norwich party in the chat so the people that haven't ordered yet can do that. I think it ends tomorrow. So we need to be able to access that. I would really appreciate it. Yes, I need to get some things. Mm -hmm. And so um, tonight, yes, please. First, um, this first Monday. Night, evening, depending on what coast you're on. We're going to have first Monday um, at 4 p.m. This is the last first Monday of the year, and we want to celebrate all of you. So we are going to ask you all to be camera ready to come on because we want you to come and talk about what it is that you do. And we want to share it. Now it's going to go out to Facebook and it's going out to YouTube and Periscope. We want to celebrate you, Carlos and the master of the um, live stream world. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Brenna and, and it, Maureen and her fitness, Claudia and good, healthy eating for vegans and vegetarians. Um, we need you all to come and talk about it. Uh, Dr. Tachi and, and uh, Media Scope and what she does, you all will have a platform. We'll have to put people in and out of chairs, but hey, we got a seat for you. Um, and it's tonight at four o'clock Pacific time. 4 p.m. Pacific time right here, 7 p.m. on the East Coast. We just want to and bring your favorite beverage, your Christmas ornaments or whatever, because it's going to be kind of like a party. I used to do eggnog, but not anymore. Maybe I can get a, a, a vegan eggnog. Mm. Mm -hmm. I might need to have a vegan eggnog. Anyway, um, 
we'll just want you guys to stop by and just tell us about who you are, what you do, and how we can find you in 2021. So thank you so much for uh, taking your time with us this morning. Um, choose joy. It's a time, it's a season of joy. Let's choose some, let's give some and receive some. Terry, anything else? We want to remind you to go to the front of your own line. It's the season. We know you're gonna give out anyway, but make sure you take care of yourself. We love you and we'll see you this evening. Dr. Tashi said they do have vegan eggnog. Mm -hmm. See there? Oh, I can have some eggnog. <laughs> All right. So with that, remember, we love you and we'll see you tonight. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.